July 7th. Uh, we've got a lot going on here, people. Today's July 7th. I had to get my, my good book out. Um, there's a lot going on, everyone. I told you how I just got back from a place called uh, Kelly or Cali Spell, Cali, which is that you know that demonic stuff that you always see going on, like in New York, where they had that Cali. They had like three different uh, spirits or whatever in New York on their faces being lit up on downtown during New New Year's Eve or something like that. Cali was one of them. Well, I went to a place called Cali Spell in uh, Montana and dropped off some stuff for a hotel out there. And uh, let me tell you something, man. They got students from different countries um, working there, but they're students that work in the hotel, but they're not supposed to work. They get paid to go there to do stuff. I don't know what they do, because they don't even work, but they're getting paid to work there. It's crazy. And they said they couldn't have them help unload the truck because they're students, and they're not supposed to work. And I'm like, okay, yeah, but they're paid. That don't make sense. But anyhow, we got the truck unloaded, and we were fortunate to get them to hold the door open for us while we were unloading. Um... Things are definitely twisted and upside down here today. Um, but anyhow, the name of that town was called Cali Spell. K-A-L-I Spell. S-P-E-L-L. -L. And everybody knows I've been saying that, you know, these are demonic things, spirit, spiritual principalities and darkness. The Lord has said that, that we're dealing with uh, demonic things, spiritual things. That's why he said that we should be feeding our spirit with the uh, Word of God, okay? People have fallen away from the Word of God, and that's the reason why we have demonic spiritual things going on today. Because there's more demonic spiritual things going on today than there is in the Word of God. Most people in the churches today, they think because if they got good money, good jobs, that they're being blessed when the truth be told. The Lord, uh, there was a wealthy man that came up to Jesus and said, how, how can I inherit the kingdom of heaven? And he said, sell everything you have and follow me. Um, people today, the churches today, they're so far from the truth. They don't even talk about it in St. Luke uh, chapter 21. Verse 36, where it says, pray that you're worthy to escape what's about to happen. And let me tell you something. Most people today, they have no idea what's about to happen. See that little angel above my head blowing that trumpet? These are the times that we're in. Okay? This photo was taken in 1977. There's a lot of light glaring on it from the, uh, I'm right underneath here by the gas pumps. But, uh, this photo was taken in 1977. And I didn't see this photo until 2014. 7 plus 7 equals 14. The Lord works with these numbers a lot. Now, I've got scoffers and mockers, all that stuff out there where people were wanting to mock it and make fun of it. I had somebody just recently sitting there saying, oh, that looks like it's faded. I've seen stuff like that. Just very negative about it, okay? And uh, doing anything they can to mock against it. But anyhow, that's fine. Because more than likely, they don't know it, but they're, they're going against the Lord. They can speak all they want against me. But chances are, they're not going to like what's going to happen. They're going to have problems in this life because this is soon getting ready to come to an end. But like I said, when you come against the angel in this photo, to them, that was just a moment ago. Just a moment. 
to me it was like, I don't know, 27 years, 77, you know, it was a long time ago, years. But to that angel, it was just a moment ago. So, you know, if you want to mock it and make fun of it, that's your choice, you know, you'll see what happens. That's all I can tell you. You'll see what happens. Because they're not here. They're here to get a message across. So if you come up against it, just prepare yourself. You know, I know there's going to be a lot of demonic spirits that are hosting people out there. See, that's something that people are unaware of. you got to remember, Jesus Christ, what did he do? He removed demons out of people, spirits. And he said, I'm not from this world. And he tried warning you about this. When they say Satan was cast down from heaven, he was cast down from heaven. He, Satan didn't even know what happened, man. He just looked up and wham, there he was. He was here on the earth, man. He was thrown down here so fast he didn't even see what happened. And they're saying light, he, Satan came down like lightning. No, he was cast down here like lightning. That's what happened. He didn't just come down here zippity zap. He, he was cast down and he didn't even know what happened until after he was here. And, you know, for him ruling here for 6,000 years, let me tell you something. Uh, that's only because people loved the world so much. We're passing through this world, man. That's why Jesus said, follow me, not the world. People today, they're following the world. If you look at the place where I'm at, I'm at the Flying J. Truck stop, the J. This is one of the things that I keep going. Jesus starts with the J. The flying J. The J represents those that have their oil. We're going to fly up above all this stuff. Um, most people aren't going to be ready for what's getting ready to happen. Not only that, they're so uh, lukewarm. Don't believe. These demonic signs have been around you your entire life. And most people can't see it because of uh, being so worldly. Even today, you see people with these nose rings. It looks like something we used to put that in cattle. You know what I mean? And pigs to keep them from digging in the dirt. Now we got people like that, looking like that and stuff. It's ridiculous. But anyhow, um, when I was younger, a lot of stuff that I'm seeing, it feels like deja vu to me. I told you the last few years I've been going to churches trying to warn people about it. People were walking around me saying how busy they were with their worldly things they had to go do. And I even went back to some of their homes with them to talk to them. Man, they turn on the football games, the baseball games, basketball games. I know so much stuff that blow your mind. That's why I'm always telling everybody to let this go. Let it go while you can and seek Jesus while he can still be found. I'm telling you, knock it on the door, all those things, man. It's been happening. It's just most people can't let it go. They're going to hang on to the last minute, and they're going to value all these things that they're soon going to come to an end. I mean, very soon. Very soon. Um, that's why they're called foolish. You don't want to be the part of the foolish crowd. Like Mike here. The guy that I'm traveling with, he believes in the Lord and all that, but he's got his ways. He also likes to talk to people that, um, that are mediums, that talk to the dead. Well, I tried to warn him about that, saying that they're really talking to demonic spirits, and he didn't want to hear that. He didn't want to hear it. Very upset about it. He didn't want to hear that. Um, he believes that they're very close to God. And... Uh, so I can't, you know, and then that picture with the angel above my head, he said, oh, everybody's got one of them. And I'm saying, really, show me yours. He couldn't show it to me, and he just, you know, he even mocked me early, because even today he told me, he goes, uh, he goes, well, how did he say it? He goes, uh, that I, something about saying I'm, I'm very stupid or something like that, you know, stupid stupidity or something like that. Let me tell you something. It wasn't long after that. He said his whole mouth was hurting really bad. Like he needed to go into a uh, dentist right away. He said it wasn't just one or two teeth. He said his whole mouth. And I said, have you ever considered yourself when you're mocking me, you're mocking 
the Lord. I said, because everything I'm telling you, I'm trying to tell you what the Lord wants me to reveal. And, uh, and you say that I'm ignorant, you know? And I said, I'm just trying to wake you up here. But you can't wake up people that don't want to be woke up. You know, that's a fact. So I just pretty much leave that alone. Um, everybody's got a destiny. You know, and maybe, I don't know. You know, I came here, like I said, I'm not afraid one way or the other. I know everybody that we come into contact with, uh, most people have a hard time being around him because he's always belittling everybody. He's uh, making them, like, feeling less than, you know, like he knows everything and you know nothing. doesn't matter who it is that he's meeting. It's just the way it is. Um, he's not very friendly. <laughs> he can be when he wants to be, but when he is, he's... Most, you're not going to like it when he's through talking with you. You know, like I said, I've been with him for quite a while now. And uh, he's not very, uh, he's not very friendly. But he's going to have to answer for everything just like everybody else will have to answer for everything. We don't have very much time left. I know that for a fact. This is the year of light according to the Jewish calendars. And another thing I want to say is we need to always be praying for Israel, Jerusalem. Be praying for them as well. The Lord's got his eye on him. He doesn't sleep or slumber. You know what I mean? Everything that he's written in that Bible is going to come to pass. You can be sure of it. Um, just like it's written. Like I said, to me, everything feels like deja vu. Like as if, um, you know... Like as if I've already been here and done it because it's written, I guess. But I know the Lord's using me in a big way here. And uh, he's not finished with me, but I know we're getting ready to go. It ain't going to be much longer. This October is going to be the year. Of, right now we're in the year of the Jewish calendar. It goes 5776. Seven, okay. And for me, this started like 5775 when I was 55. And now I'm 56, and, it, and the year we're in is 5776. That photo that I took was in 77. Um, and then uh, this October is going to be 5777. I believe we're at the, any moment now we could be taken. That's how close we are, the three sevens. It's very vital. Um, Obama, when he read uh, Psalms 46 and 08, that was uh, the housing market crash, 777 points, the three sevens. We're at the end. Seven years have passed since then. Um, a lot of sevens, man. I mean, most people ain't going to see what's getting ready to come. But I'm hoping I've got a lot of people on this channel here that are going to see it that are putting things together that I've been saying. Um, I'm going to give you my email. If you want a photo of that angel, I'll send it to you. But if all you want to do is mock it, you're not going to hear back from me because I'm not going to debate with you on it. I had somebody doing that with me earlier. I'm not going to debate with anybody on it. This is my email. M A R K. That's my first name, Mark. D as in David. H as in Hardy. M-A-R-K-D-H 1960 at gmail.com Okay, that's my name. I'm going to do it again. M-A-R-K-D-H 1960 at gmail.com those are all small capital letters. Send me an email. I'll send you a photo of it. Um, I also have a couple other photos that I've taken in the, uh, a small rainbow. Three faces appeared. I'll be happy to send them to you. And uh, like I said, I know there's demonic spirits out there as well. You guys contact me. You want to debate or mock or belittle it. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not even going to debate it with you. 
I know exactly who it is and what it's all about. I'm not here to do that. The Word of God says to comfort one another, not to debate. Okay? So I'm going to also say this to the people that are watching this channel. Don't bother giving them any conversation. Okay? Don't bother. Let them do their thing. Because the Word of God says, scoffing and mockers, they're going to come. Okay? So leave it at that. God bless you. Be with the Holy Spirit. And remember, do not deny the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because Revelation 3 to the Church of Philadelphia, 8-12 through 12 says that. You did not deny my name. Therefore, I'm going to spare you the moment of trial that comes upon the whole earth to try them. Okay? That's what it says. And then St. Luke, chapter 21, verse 36 says, Pray that you're worthy to escape what's about to happen. Well, those that are denying his name aren't going to be worthy. Those that were invited to the wedding that didn't pay attention... They're not going to be worthy either. Read it. It says it, that he's going to destroy many of them. God bless you. Remember to pray for Israel.